there everybody uh, this is TJ for uh, Skullbanger Media you won't be seeing me because I can't fit in the frame but that's probably doing everybody a favor but uh, anyway I'm here at the Tuska Festival here in uh, Helsinki Finland 2014 I'm here with Poison Black uh, favorite band of mine uh, they got a lot of good music and uh, they were gracious enough to grant me the interview I'm here with Tarmo and v Vile and um, I guess the first thing first guys is How's it going? You doing well? Yeah, yeah it's a beginning of the summer tour, festival tour, sure. so okay. batteries are still charged. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Now, you just performed a little bit earlier in the day, so how was the show here at Tuska for you? Was the fans very receptive? Uh, personally, I don't think that this is really like our kind of festival, okay. so we were kind of surprised of the reaction. Yeah, yeah especially because we played so early. So yeah. And the short, uh, short playing time, like, 35 minutes yeah but it was good yeah yeah you sounded you had a good sound too i was out there in the audience a little bit taking photos and stuff so yeah your sound was really good okay right? that's yeah. good to hear yeah. because so, we don't know anything about it when we yeah, are playing on stage sure, yeah. sure but you sounded good your vocals sounded really great too you sounded Thank really you. good so but uh i guess the big thing is you got your new album called Louie, you. okay. Yeah, first that's of all, that was good. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Well, first of all, for the English speakers, can you explain maybe what that uh, is in English? It's a kind of self-titled album because uh, Poison Black PB, PB is a chemical sign for lead. Okay. And Louie is lead in Finnish. Okay, all right. So it's an element. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. So, but now it's been out what just under one year so far, maybe yeah. Yeah, six, seven, eight months, something yeah, like yeah. that. Um, so you've had time to get critic reactions, fan reactions. Uh, you've toured on, uh, a little bit for it so far, right? Had yeah. some, some tour dates yeah. and things like that. So, uh, how, how's the fans' reactions been to it? Good, bad, neutral? You suck. Or, <laughs> I, mean, it, I mean, I think it's been good. Yeah. Especially here in Finland, I think there's definitely been more people in our shows than before. I think it. It has been really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, musically, it's our uh, the album is pretty balanced, like sure. music-wise. So, uh, at least for me personally, as a musician, I'm really happy about the the way it turned out and the reactions from the critics and audience has been like uh, just amazing. Okay, all right. Well, for us, like old farts, old your old farts are old. Yeah, we get farts. <laughs> get to play like festivals like this so it's, okay. it's great that's good that's good now now looking back uh, you said this was a more balanced album so but uh, I know sometimes musicians will uh, look back and oh we should have done something a little bit differently or what is there anything about the album that maybe you would oh we should have done something a little bit differently are you pretty pleased with it overall or? I have like nothing nothing comes to mind yeah because we are, uh, we approached it like uh, this is gonna be our last album. So let's record it the way that this is our last album. So uh, is it gonna be your no, last? No, no, oh, no, no, like, oh, that, okay. yeah, no, no. But like um, exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what I mean is like uh, when you go to the studio and start to work on an album, it's always the same work and blah blah blah, drums, bass, guitars, blah blah blah. I wanted us to be like, okay, hey, let's do this album. You know what I mean? Like enjoying the recording part because it can be really boring or whatever you take one song like 50th time yeah so what do you think are the strongest points of the album compared to your previous albums because you know I, I listened to some of the, the previous ones before this one this one sounds seems like you said a little bit more balanced uh, I don't want to say more focused but it seems like it's a little bit more uh, I don't know what the word is for it but uh, uh, maybe focused is a, uh, maybe a better word you seem like you're more uh, I think the production yeah, yeah, overall yeah, the production, it, it was yeah, better than before. Sure. I think it was it was really great. It sounds really like yeah. really smooth. Obviously. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, the production is killer. I, I love it. I hate the word honest, but I think the album is really honest. Okay. All right. So, uh, what are some of your favorite songs off the album, and what's the message you want the album to portray to your fans? Mm, the favorite song. It varies, it's hard to say. It depends on a day. I like Down the Ashes Rain. Mm -hmm. mm, what else? Uh, the Halfway Bar. There really isn't any message. It's about lyrically like a 40 year old <laughs> boy looking at television news, whatever, seeing how uh, people react like uh, 
in terms of what they are willing to do to be in the Bop League eye and you know sure. like in the papers and whatnot and uh, just my opinions about that. Okay, all right. Now, uh, you started Poison Black after sentenced this band. Okay, and obviously your subject matter for Poison Black is not about suicide, <laughs> yeah. or not that I'm aware of anyway, but uh, uh, and, you know, Sentis left a, a pretty big legacy on the Finnish metal scene, and, and metal too, you know. And uh, what kind of legacy do you hope Poison Black will leave uh, on the metal scene when, when the time comes to maybe call it a day? Not yet, That's though. a tough, tough one. Yeah. Never really thought about it. The first years with this band was kind of struggling to get on the uh, way, you know, from the shadow of Sentis. Right. So, uh... It has been like last couple of years that people have, in, in my opinion, have started to take us seriously. Yeah. But the legacy that we leave, um, I'm pleased with uh, if people say like, uh, damn, they don't play anymore. It was always fun to see them live. We had fun. Sure. That's enough for me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you feel pressured from like? sentenced fans to do a certain like even in poison black do you still feel like a pressure from like the sentenced years to do anything a certain way no yeah, no. yeah. um well touching on sentence just a, just a little bit more uh you know a lot of fans were kind of sad to see the band go you know but i guess the reason the sentence disbanded I, I was never clear on was it just because the time had come to stop or it was natural and uh, we got to a point that a record company and management told us we should go and tour America for three months. Okay. And we sat down and talked about it and decided no. And it's due to uh, personal relationships within the band mixed with alcohol, divorces and whatever. The focus was not in the music, it was somewhere else. And we thought that there's, we don't want to like, uh, we do it full on or we don't do it at all. Sure, sure. So, uh, well, I was going to ask, you know, this is kind of off the cuff a little bit, would, would there ever be an interest in maybe uh, Poison Black kind of maybe doing some scented songs in a set or no. uh, not at all? No. Yeah. That was, Just we like decided it, um, since the first day that we are not going to do it. Probably a very smart idea. Yeah. Very smart idea. Well, let's get back to, to Poison Black, that's what I'm here for. So, the band, uh, the album that you, you're currently touring on, it's been out, like I said, six, seven, eight months or so. Are you starting to get some uh, ideas for anything new, for some, some new material, or are you just Actually, he has plenty of I got new a little, material. I got a little home studio, and I've been recording there like 30-something songs, so... Uh, wow! <laughs> So we had have a lot of a lot of work to do when we stop this tour. Sure, sure. Well, that's good. good to, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good. Good that we have so much material, but it's going to take some time to go through it and decide what songs we are actually going to finish. Right. And yeah. you know, obviously there won't be 30, 30 <laughs> songs on an album. Yes. <laughs> Double. There's two good yeah. ones. <laughs> two, two good songs out of the thirty. Yeah. Okay. But uh, all right. So you're getting your summer uh, festival tour underway. And uh, what can you tell everybody out there that's not got to see Poison Black live, or their new listeners? Uh, what can you tell them to expect from your band, and what to see, uh, what they can see live from you? I think it's quite natural. We don't use any background tapes or have any special stuff that has been really like planned. You know, like some theatrical moves or something like sure. that. So it's. Pretty yeah. basic. Rock yeah, and the roll. main thing is like uh, the ritual, what we do like before the show, this uh, putting yeah. the piece together. It's like, let's enjoy because we don't know when this is gonna end. Sure. sure. And uh, so far, people have kind of uh, seen that, okay. that these guys are enjoying this. Yeah. Right. Even though the music is crap, they're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Music's not crap, by the way. It's not crap. It's pretty good. It's actually a very. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a very, it's not really goth, but yet your vocals kind of lend a little bit to a more, you know, I don't know, it's a, it's a very unique sound. I'm very impressed with what you've got. Somebody on. told me once that I sound like Rod Stewart with AIDS. Rod Stewart with AIDS? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to interpret that one, Phil. <laughs> but, uh, all right, well, this is one question I try to ask all the bands. 
to kind of make interviews a little bit more interesting and unique. You know I'm not from here. My accent probably gives that away big time. I'm from Tennessee. And uh, Elvis. Elvis is a very big thing from Tennessee. You know, rock and roll and all that stuff. So, if uh, Poison Black were to do a cover of an Elvis song, what Elvis song would Poison Black do? Oh, there's a lot of good ones. Five seconds. Four, three, two. <laughs> no, no, just... Man, it's fuck broken. Oh, man. fuck. There's a lot of good ones. I think it's definitely some, you know, some rock and roll song, not like any of those ballads, but which one? In the ghetto. <laughs> you know, Love Me Tender. <laughs> Love Me Tender. <laughs> Man, I got him thinking about that one pretty, yeah. pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking about the way we play and our, like, abilities to play. Yeah. Maybe Jailhouse Rock would be easy, I don't know. I expect to hear that out of the 30 songs. I because that's cover. the place he's going. No. <laughs> oh, 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 some coming up. <laughs> well, all right, guys, I don't want to keep you anymore. I know you no, 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 no. relax a little bit, but uh, feel free to wrap up any words you want to tell people out there uh, where they can find you on the internet, anything. Uh, this might sound pretty lame, but... Uh, I want to thank for all the support we get like in, in Facebook, in our website and just people just saying stuff, it, it feels good and uh, there's people in Tennessee and in, in the whole United <laughs> States that actually uh, enjoy our music and be patient, maybe we'll be there one day, but um, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And that's it. Oh, I got a buddy in Philadelphia named Frank. He's a big fan. If you want to say hello, Frank, or something there, just get a life, then end it. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you for, no problem. And that's uh, it for Skullbanger Media. We're out of here.